Well, after St. Paul's new city council members are sworn in, Mayor Melvin Carter may be working with the most progressive group in the city's history. From child care initiatives to stronger rent control, there will likely be some differences between the mayor and the first all-female council. Jay Coles talked with Mayor Carter about what lies ahead for the capital city. All seven members of the newly elected St. Paul City Council are under the age of 40, and Mayor Melvin Carter is just 44 years old. There's a youth movement in St. Paul. What are you trying to say? <laughs> you're, the old, you're the old guy. <laughs> and progressives will hold the majority on the city council with a strong veto-proof voting block. What are your expectations as a mayor, a seasoned mayor, with a very young city council. I think it'll be really helpful to have folks in this uh, in, in, in this building, in this space, doing the work with us, uh, who's, you know, sort of have very little allegiance to sort of the way things have always been done around City Hall. Three progressives, Mitra Jalali, Shaniqua Johnson, and Wajong Kim, have all publicly said a stronger rent control ordinance is a top priority. And that could include removing the current 20-year rent control exemption for new construction. How would you feel about any proposed changes to, say, the, the new rent ordinance? Well, I, I haven't seen any proposed changes, so, you know, I, I don't want to get, you know, too far out and kind of re react in the hypothetic, hypotheticals. Uh, obviously, a, uh, a, a new construction exemption is something that I've argued for, uh, is something that I've, that I've supported. Um, you know, frankly, I would support uh, making it, uh, even extending it even further uh, beyond 20 years. A likely disagreement when the new city council revisits rent control. Do you anticipate you might have to use your veto power more with the new with the new council? No, I, that's that's not something I'm anticipating. Again, I I, I don't want to go too far down the road of you know imaginary uh, hypotheticals, and you know it's not it's just not something I'm thinking about. Uh, let me tell you, you know, the council members who we've elected are council members who uh, I supported, who I've spent the last uh, year kind of working with, uh, who I think are, are, are incredibly thoughtful individuals. What is the one thing you think you can do to make this work with the city council? The thing our administration is going to have to do is be willing to, to work with people uh, who are bringing fresh energy and fresh ideas into City Hall. Uh, and let me tell you, if, if, if we're not ready to do that, then uh, maybe I'm the problem. Not them. <laughs> Mayor Carter says one of his big priorities next year is to use the money from the newly approved 1% sales tax to increase and rebuild the city's infrastructure. That's common ground with the incoming new city council members who've also stated spending that money on key improvements is high on their lists of legislative goals. Reporting live in the newsroom, Jay Coles, 5 Eyewitness News. All right, Jay, you'll be busy. Mm -hmm. Certainly going to be a lot to cover. Yes. Thank you.